Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we learned the basics of outer set expression. We learned outer set expression using few set analysis expressions. Today we will continue the same topic. We will understand how outer set expression works with respect to lexical scoping, position, context, inheritance and how it will work for the aggregation function. We will use the same application. So in last video we learned that using the outer set expression it is easy to combine or reuse master measure effective way. It is also easy to maintain multiple aggregation where we have used the same set expression. Today we will understand more about outer set expression. So in the first KPI you can see that we have two different set modifier. One is for year, one is for category. Both are written inside inner set expression while the second KPI here we have same set modifier but they are written as outer set expression. We will get the same result. So what I will do here is I will use one modifier inside outer set expression and one modifier inside inner set expression and still we are going to get the same result. Lexical scoping is all about how this outer set expression will affect the entire expression. So if I will write something like this, I am going to make this all expression KPI small so that I can write few more here. Okay, I will add one more. KPI here and let's find out profit. So I will say sum of sales minus sum of cost. This will give me profit and what I will do I will make the number format as no decimal. So the total profit is 74,655. Now say I want profit for current year then what I will do here is I will write as inner set expression first. So I will copy this and here I have to mention inside sum of sales and sum of cost and we will get 38,657. So if I will select 2022 we are getting the same profit. So without selection also it should give us the same profit. But instead of writing this, we could write by different ways. The first one is, I will write this by outer set expression. And I don't need to mention inside sum of sales or inside sum of cost. So now you can see we are getting the same result. The outer set expression is affecting the whole expression. But if I will write a bracket here, so there is a bracket here which is closing after sum of sales, then what will happen? We are getting minus 46,606. How? So the outer set expression which is maximum year will only affect or will only work for the sum of sales. So sum of sales for 2022 is 122291. 122291. And sum of cost. So total sum of cost is 168897. Which you can see from here because we haven't done any selection right now. So your total value is this sum of sales minus sum of cost. So we are getting minus 46,606. So this outer set expression will work for the whole expression until and unless you have enclosed an extra bracket. So if I will remove this bracket then then this outer set expression will work for sum of sales minus sum of cost. Where should we write outer set expression? This outer set expression must be written at the beginning of the 
lexical scope. Now, the context of this set expression, how it will work. I have rearranged few objects and I have kept only single KPI here. So, in this KPI, we have category equal to audio inside inner set expression and year equal to maximum year as outside set expression. So, before this outer set expression means in the earlier version of set, set analysis, the context was always defined by the current selection. So, whenever we are writing a set expression, say right now we have only this portion and we haven't mentioned any set identifier. So, if no set identifier is mentioned, that means it is always dollar. So, if I will mention dollar here, then what will happen? We are getting result 41405. Let me write two expression here, one with dollar and one without dollar. So, I will remove dollar from here. So, 26085 is the result of the first one and, and the second where we have mentioned set, set identifier inside the inner set expression. We are getting 41405. So, what is the difference between these two? Inner set expression with a set identifier will not inherit from the context. And whenever we write any aggregation function and if we write a set expression inside that aggregation function, then the inner and outer set expression will merge together. But if the inner set expression contains an identifier, either it could be dollar or it could be alternate state or it could be one or it could be previous selection or next selection, something like this. You need to check the previous videos where I have mentioned what is the set identifier. So here dollar is the set identifier. So, whenever the inner set expression is having set identifier, then it will ignore this outer set expression. So, in this case, we are only getting sum of sales for the category audio. So, if you see audio has total sales 41,405. So, when we have set identifier inside this, inner set expression, then outer set expression will be ignored. Means, inner set expression is having higher priority or first priority compared to the outer set expression. I will repeat once more. If we don't have set identifier inside inner set expression, then outer set expression will be inherited from the inner set expression. But, if inner set expression has got set identifier, then outer set expression will not be inherited. Now, the very last point, how the inner and outer set expression will work for aggregation function. So, say I will write something like this. So, say I will write something like this, sum of profit which is 74,655 and I will write agar with respect to country. And then I will say maximum means there will be a virtual table created for country and total profit. And I want the maximum profit means the maximum profit a country doing. So we are getting 9,290. So, if we create here another measure here and I will say, I will duplicate this one and instead of sales, I will say profit. Then, if I will sort this table by profit, then you can see that 9,295 is profit made by South Africa. Now, I will add here set expression. So, I will write here. year equal to max of my year inside dollar sign expansion. So, now I am getting 6587 means for 2022 maximum profit done by USA 6587.
if I will write here something like this, I will say quarter equal to quarter 1, then I am getting 2346. So, what this expression is doing? First, it will find out the maximum profit by country. So, the maximum profit by country is for 2022 is 6587 but we want profit maximum profit for maximum year or selected year for quarter one only so if i will select quarter one here you can see now the total is 2346 for the uk so if i will remove this selections we are still getting 2346 as a final result so the outer set outside aggregation function will inherit to whatever number of inner set expression we have written. One more thing, I can even write something like this. So, for the first expression where we are getting 26,085, I can write this category equal to audio here and I will remove this inner set expression. We are still getting the same result. Even I can write something like this. So, I have one outer set expression, then another outer set expression and we are still getting the same result. I am not sure that how many outer set expression you can write. But I have tried for 2, 3 and it is working. So, even now I can write here quarter equal to Q1. So, if we select here 2022 quarter 1 and audio as my category then I will get 8187. If I will remove the selection we are still getting 8187. So, hope you understand how outer set expression works. I will create few more videos on complex expressions of inner and outer set expression. Till now, thanks and have a great day.